Hello guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to create this nice looking logo. So let's start. Okay, let's start. Let's get the ellipse tool and draw a circle, holding shift to make it proportional, and change it to black, and place it here, and then hold alt to get the two cursors, and hold shift and drag to copy. Okay, when you're done, select it and change the color, so you can see behind it and then select both and get the shape builder tool and hold out to get the minus sign and remove those you would have this kind of moon looking shape so after that select it and copy it once and place it here for later use and then select it again and hold out and shift and drag to copy and then change the color so you can see behind it and then move it like this so you can have a very tiny black this looks fine and then select both and get the shape builder tool and hold alt to get the minus sign and remove this and have this very tiny moon so get the one you copied before and just stick them in and then change the color so you can see behind and this looks fine okay so select all of them and get the eyedropper and get this color which i did before which is black white black gradient and then select the big one and get the gradient tool and just push the black upward maybe this looks fine and then the left one do the same thing but make it slightly different so you can like make, make them a bit different and this looks fine now select all of them and control G to group and then copy it once and rotate it slightly and place it here You can see they're about touching here. Okay, then select this one and copy again and rotate again and place it here and then do it again. This looks nice and then you can do it again. One last time I think it works. And we're done so now you have to zoom out and get the rectangle tool and create a rectangle and then go to the gradient and put it on radial and remove the black and place the white here and change the black to maybe grayscale let's see okay this works and now place the rectangle back arrange back and after that you select everything and rotate it 90 degrees and you have this bird effect and then select it again and then control C to copy and control shift V to paste in place and press on reflect tool and put it on horizontal okay and then place it here give it a reflection and go to effects blur Gaussian blur and give it some blur okay and this looks fine, and we're done. 